Well, turn 10, well done, you've done something good. You've put free-for-all adventure into the game, which is something we have all been asking for since the beginning. And I can see why Team Adventure was a good idea to stop griefers, but didn't exactly work, did it? So, that's why I'm making this video. 10 reasons that Team Adventure pisses me off. Let's get into number one. So, last on my list, and this is all like general stuff within the game that we can sort of avoid. And the first thing is the rocks. Yes, I know this probably sounds like a stupid one, but hear me out. Have you ever been beelining, especially up the mountains, and you'll suddenly hit a rock that is barely bigger than, like, your tyre, and for some reason, your car cannot drive over it, despite having tyres that are, like, four times the size of the rock? Just doesn't make sense. Like, the image on the screen that I have now, why can my car not go over that pathetic little rock? Just doesn't make sense. And another thing is walls, especially hidden walls or the stupid hitboxes on walls that you can get caught on but you think you're going to miss. But nope, it decides to ruin your whole entire race by snagging you and making you come to a complete stop. And this has happened a lot of times when beelining, you are going through a set of trees and all of a sudden oh look there's a container and i know that's happened to a lot of people because i've seen it firsthand and i've experienced it firsthand another thing the ice lake we all know what it is in winter you have the ice lake which is a great opportunity for beelining across the lake it makes things easy for us instead of having to go all the way around and having to figure out which is the quickest route just beeline across it but then you get those little piles of snow and the water which can spin you or the snow that makes you flip it's just a pain in the ass and yet again it's good if you can get onto the drag strip part of it but it's still really really annoying and then speaking of water it's also a pain in the ass so you'll come across a river that'll spin you or stop you dead in your tracks the massive river that runs like halfway through the map that is one of the biggest obstacles in the game and you have to learn when to cut across it at the right time and, and it is good experience to look at the map for free room rush but water's just a pain in the ass in number six i have noobs every game has them no doubt about it but forza's noobs are the worst why do you get people who are so bad at the game playing ranked? That, that's the whole point of ranked, is that you get decent players. If there's people who are just looking to do it for fun or just to play around with some friends, you should go into normal adventure. Which, yeah, there are still an, a lot of noobs in normal adventure, but then again, I don't get why they come into team adventure where they expect to somehow win. And yet, if they're not winning, they're trying to ram you or something, or they're just trying to ruin the experience of everyone else. Coming into number five, this is starting to get to the point where there's stuff we can't control. And at number five, I have wait times. At the beginning of the game, they were absolutely horrible. I think I even played Team Adventure on the very first day it came out. And I swear it took me an hour to find a game. And that was really painful. But wait times have definitely gotten better. Especially with Free For All Adventure. They have gotten a lot better. But they can still be improved. Especially with Team Adventure. Why do we have to wait for 12 people to join? It should be just if you've got an even number of people in the lobby. It should be able to start. And then again I like what they've done with Free For All Adventure. If you've got 10 people you can start. Number four, you've got rammers. People who don't know what brakes are. We've all experienced them and they are the biggest pain in the ass. And then again, it just shows no skill or anything like that. And especially, it shows that people don't like being beat by someone who is better than them. Because 
everyone has it no one likes accepting that someone is better than them I have it everyone has it it's just the thing we have to accept now getting into number three this is something we all do now and again and we see a lot of people doing it wall riders people who go into the first turn stick to the outside of the wall and somehow magically get into first now in the video that's probably playing in the background you've seen me do it and to be honest you can't blame me everyone does it so I right, if you can't beat them join them getting into number two overpowered cars this is one thing that really does annoy me because this that's what makes team adventure or adventure so toxic is just overpowered cars like the bone shaker in a class the ferrari fxx in s2 and just the ford raptor in a class as well for off-road i have literally been in lobbies where everybody is in a ford raptor I just want to be able to drive the cars I like in the game. They, It should be more balanced because the upgrades that you can put onto the Bone Shaker make it way overpowered. It's got big thick tyres at the back which give it a good launch. It's got quite a wide wheelbase so it can turn. And it's got a big engine so it's got top speed. And it shouldn't necessarily be able to do that. It's the same thing with the Shelby Daytona. You shouldn't be able to turn that quickly with a car that's that long and skinny. It just doesn't work. So, Forza, please fix something about these overpowered cars in Team Adventure because it just makes the experience so toxic. And then, number one on my list, and this is the thing that, that pisses me off the most. It has caused me to rage so many times in Team Adventure and Adventure is the point system. For some reason, they can't get it right. Back in Horizon 3, it used to be based on your skills, like your skill chain. However many points you got in the free roam rush or the, or the race or the event, whatever it was, it just... It was a silly way of calculating skill, or it should have been done by position like it is now in Horizon 4, because you would usually get that typical guy who sits at the back of the pack, just drifting away, getting his skill chain up, and it was just really annoying, because the people who actually had skill and came first, second, and third were getting just a little bit less score than they were, and it just doesn't make sense. But on numerous occasions, I have come first in a race, and it has rewarded me zero points. I don't get why. It is not a mathematical pointing system. It is all RNG. It's random. And this doesn't make sense. Sure, if it had a mathematical system, we would all, well, a lot of people would already be at Grandmaster and... I can see what Forza is trying to do. They don't want too many high-leveled people. But you can't do that if it's all RNG. And there's even been times when I've won the team adventure. I've came first in literally every race. And I've been deranked for winning. And especially in team... No, in free-for-all adventure recently. For coming first in nearly all the races... I've been given zero points, four points. I've even been demoted points. Forza said they fixed it in the update. They haven't. They haven't done shit. Because they are absolutely useless at doing online adventure in this game. And like, I'll probably have a couple images or videos on screen of me losing points for winning. It's just so stupid and annoying. If this was fixed, everything else that I've just mentioned, all the other nine things, would be bearable. I wouldn't care. As long as the point system worked and was actually decent. And actually, I'll put on screen now a image of how I think the point system should work in Team Adventure and how it should work in just normal 
free-for-all adventure. Because it should be a mathematical system. It shouldn't be not based on RNG, not based on luck or anything like that. It should be calculated. But anyway guys, I will stop ranting about all of that now because it has come to the end of the video. Sorry, I have not uploaded in a very, very long time. Um, I've had a lot of college work to do. I went away for Christmas to Switzerland. That was fun. Um, and just... Yeah, if I sound a bit dead, I've got a cold and it's horrible. But yeah, I'm trying to get back into a more scheduled routine. Hopefully me and Eric can do a video together. But as you've seen, he's been doing a lot of these cut these kinds of videos that I'm doing. Because it's sort of what people want to see. And he's been getting very good responses from it, which is good to see. But anyway, let me know in the in the comments what you guys hate about adventure or team adventure because I would love to know what you think is the worst thing and I think there is a couple things I've missed out but I was really scrambling my brain just to think of 10 things but anyway before my voice dies thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see all of you in the next race bye bye <laughs>